welcome to Indie Live's Poetry Open Mic Spot. I'm Angus Shurkan, and this is Af. Here's what we're going to do. You's are going out for to play. I'll tidy up the house, get ready of that house, then take myself off for the day. Nicola Sturgeon by Neil McNeely. She argues for our freedom. Her plight is ours to share. Will we back her or succumb? to political wear and tear. Enduring years of Tory rule, we argued wrong and right. Are you tired of all this ministerial drool and avoiding the democratic fight? Do we want a future led by Boris? A prediction bleak and dear. To be led by fake Westminster promises and adhere to the voice of a liar. We have a premier voice in Hollywood who has our points to share. An education advocate of truth. Her Caledonian passion laid bare. She stops and speaks to homeless. She steps out of her normal routine and in crowds with the rain and the coldness she shares memories as the selfie queen. They have backed her in a corner twisted words to gain their votes, but her strength is verbal armour, has the weakest grab their coats. So let's all unite behind her, for our nation to govern itself, to be in control of our own future, our destiny and all our wealth. Prosperous, more open, more equal and fair, diverse, inclusion, no burden. It's Scotland our passion, our faith to share. By the voice of Nicola Sturgeon. January Afternoon by Sheila Nichols. The sun streaks behind the skeletons of trees stripped to winter bones. Tips grey clouds pink signs off with a gold and scarlet flourish. Each January day a little bolder, each stay a little longer. Soon the darkening sky reclaims the icy territory, restates the night. Dead branches snap, but underneath something stirs like the faint cracking of eggshells. The year is turning. Brits and the Gales by Paul Colvin While they sent our men to India to fight for the British cause they sent in thugs to burn our crofts without mercy, thought or pause they killed our women, children or traded them for sheep and if you didn't like the deal they burned you in your sleep We were taken out at gunpoint and shipped from our native shores. They allowed us no belongings except the clothes we wore. We knew we had done nothing wrong, yet the new world was our fate. But the one inherent problem here was the evil British state. Enslaved upon their filthy ships with meagre rations fed, thousands never saw new land. We died at sea instead. Thrown overboard with little prayer, our faith was held so dear. But the Christian heathen captain fueled only misery and fear. We sailed the seas, we did not know. We were from the land, working fingers to the bone with great calluses on our hands. We fended only for ourselves, as we'd always done before. But now we're strewn world wild, proud gales on every shore. (laughs) 